Hi guys, welcome to this upload for you guys today. I've got obviously some new beers that's actually come from Beer 52. I have no idea what I've got. I'd stayed away from spoilers on the website to keep myself intrigued. And obviously you will see my reaction as and when I actually open this box. So it's that time of the month it is. But I just want to say this now, if you are into TikTok, you're more than welcome to follow me at Gavinox. I'll leave a link in the description below with other my social outlets as well as obviously on my link tree. So you're more than welcome to check me out over there. Now I just want to say to you guys is before I do actually go on to the thing in question, the why you've actually tuned in. I just want to give a honorary mentions. A uh, big shout out to Maddie David. She's actually been an inspiration to me for making TikTok videos, let alone um, just being interactive with me and everything. She's just hit over 10k followers. That's a massive feat. And she's her purpose in life is to help people with mental health and do words of wisdom. It's just mind blowing just to experience to be a part of that community, obviously interacting with her and everything. And obviously a big shout out to Little Legs Twenty. I think I've said your name right. A uh, big shout out to you. To say how young she is, she's very inspiring as well. And the words of wisdom from her. I've got an itch all of a sudden. My blood's overeating. Now I've got a coronavirus. But big shout out to them two ladies. And obviously anyone else that's on TikTok, let me know. Please do. Um. I was going to do a unboxing last week on this first box that came because I thought this was going to be my beer of the month but I looked on my order history or anything and it says it's due in seven days time so this one that came last week was in fact the same one that I had on the last unboxing that I showed you guys you know so I'm like what the hell what the hell guys They've sent me my order twice, and I've not ordered it twice. So I'm kind of lucky I've got some free beer. So I'll leave that to one side. But today, oh, I got a ready bad itch. I do apologise. I just hate itches in the wrong place at the wrong time. But this one, it only just came not that long ago. So, obviously, like I've said, I've stayed away from spoilers on the website to obviously intrigue people and myself to actually see what I've got. So, bear with whilst I get into the box. Obviously, I can't use an knife on YouTube, apparently, that's inclusion violence. Oh, spooky. Which I've noticed that people get flagged for nowadays. When they do unboxings, I don't know if that, I've seen that done by people that I actually watch on certain things. Bear with me. Right. What have we got for the snack? Love corn, spooky barbecue. I'm not being funny, but I think I can tell what the theme is. I think it's Valentine's Day. I could be wrong. That's an interesting one. So 5.2. Hopefully my mic's picking me up. Um, 5.2. Is that one? It looks like a pail. Okay. I've still got some of my last one, to be honest. What's this one? Fine ale. No more. Ooh. Cold brew. Coffee one. Put coffee porter. Been tr keep meaning to try um coffee porters. I'm a big fan of um, Titanic Plum Porter. If anyone's actually had that in the United Kingdom would know how nice that is. I think that's from Chesterfield that way. I could be wrong. God, these are so cold. But yeah, is that by the but? No more, never more. 
Are they actually the band named after the band? Because I think I came across a band called Nevermore. But I'm intrigued about that one. That's coffee porter. Buxton Brewery. We've got an Oat IPA. Obviously from England, from Buxton. I think that's Buxton's not that far from where I live, actually. Within the radius. 4.4. Dry, fruity, hoppy ale. Blend of US hops. Mm. These these guys really intrigue me with some of the ideas. At least one thing. I don't I can't venture out. I show you the label, I do apologise. I love the designs when they think of new ideas for ales. It just blows my mind sometimes. I'm so organised, really. I am. Honest. This one's a bit retro look to it. This one is... Rhubarb and Ooh! Rhubarb milkshake pale ale. Ooh! I love um, old rosy rhubarb when that's in season. Look how retro that looks. That looks so cool. I can never get my angle right. I do apologise. Focus, you stupid camera. But yeah, that looks an interesting one. Then we've got... Coconut pastry stout. That's an interesting combination from obviously the books and brewery again. Look at that, that. Look at that, guys. Wow. Then we've got Paradise Pale Hazy Ale. Oh, yeah, I didn't say the percentage of that one. That's a big, massive mess up on my point. That last one is 6%. Oh, that's going to be a lethal one. I know you get some stronger ones, but that's going to be an interesting one. Then we've got Paradise Pale, Hazy Pale. What's it say about it? Does it actually tell me how, how strong it is? Oh, it's suitable for vegans, which is a bonus. To anyone that is vegan, I'm not. I enjoy my meat. Sorry. I do enjoy my veg, though, at the same time. I'm not one of these picky sods. But, look, can't focus on it that well. Why are you not focusing? Oh, never mind. Technology, I've not had a good time with technology at the moment. So, at the moment I'm trying to download a game. 48 hours, really? And then we've got one eye. Well, I've got four. Why me? But then we've got one eye. Oh Jesus Christ! Is that seven point eight or something? it's like seven percent. Jeez, you definitely have one eye after drinking that IPA from Tooth and Claw. I love the brewery names as well as more the ale names as well. Focus your stupid camera. But yeah, I love the designs. I really do. I, that's another selling point for me with ales and craft beers. Then I've got vacation, vocation, hour of your planet. It's a five point seven. Bit of a weird one that is. Yeah, five point seven. Yeah. I always like keep towering advertising marijuana. The thing is, though, when people say about ales and wines and that, like, oh, they can taste the flowers, etc., the meadow and everything, I can. At times. Oh, it's. Oh, okay, it looks like. Did I just put that back in the same. Oh, my God, I'm so organised. 
I was just going to say, okay, I've got two of these. Then I've got two eyes. But no, I've still got four. But, yeah. I'll put that back in the box with that. Realising. Really not my day at all, is it, guys? Tell you what, when the internet was playing up last night doing my uh, Elimination Chamber 2021 predictions, it kept lagging out, so I had to do ed- spend like four hours editing pretty much all the dead air and everything. It was just a nightmare. But it came out good. People have been respecting it so far. If you're a wrestling fan, that is. You're more than welcome. It's on my link tree, by the way. My podcast link. Then we've got... Um, Maltafina D IPA. I never know what... I know IPA, EPA, but I never knew what the D stands for. Do not say anything wrong. Doesn't actually tell me that much about it. Oh, sugar. That's like a fucking espresso brew strength. If the camera focused, that's 8.5 on that one. But I love the design. Yet again, great design. Then we'll get... Indian Pale Ale from East Coast. 6% Six percent. BB number oh five. It's meant to be very hoppy. Five out of five. Juiciness four out of five. Haziness four out of five. Balance four out of five. Okay. But I don't know why I used to say imported pale ale. It's Indian pale ale. But, yeah, so, got that. Then, then we've got this one. This one's an interesting design. Hazy Pot APA. The White Hag Irish Brewer Company. So, we've got some Irish ale craft beer. Okay. People do not get offensive. But only ales can get away with weird names. But the white hag. <laughs> Jeez. Then I've got a bottle one. Ooh. One of my favourite go to cocktails when I used to have a pick me up. I still not meant to drink caffeine, but I still have an espresso martini. To pick me up when I go on a night out. When I used to. Not anymore. Because we're on lockdown. But espresso martini. Holy moly. Espresso mo- espresso milk. It's chocolatey as well. Oh, I tell you what. That one I got last month, guys. The, the hazelnut one tastes like Nutella. Literally the aftertaste. So if this is the same, cannot complain at that at all. Espresso martini in a in a craft beer in a stout. Sorry, a craft beer. Whatever you want to class it as. Just wow! I can't wait to have that. I wonder how strong it's going to be. Please drink respond sensibly. I always do. I'm not gonna. Look like that woman, am I? <laughs> now I'm really happy. I'm really happy with this box. I'm really happy with th- what the service they give. People are mixed emotions. It's like Marmite, you like it or you don't like it. But end of the day, I enjoy what they give me. You know, I can't thank the guys enough. Right, beer 51. So, until next time, guys. You know what to do, hit that subscribe button so you be as well as that bell icon icon and select all and then obviously do me one one little favour, follow me on TikTok, please do. I'm over forty followers, I give words of positivity. That's my mission on there. So if you like movie collecting, you're welcome back. 
If you like professional wrestling, check over my other outlets on Linktree in the link below. Please do. Because it means the world to me. Like it, you guys mean the world to me. Make this channel what it is. But anyway, guys, until next time. Catch you guys later. <laughs>